Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell, I am on the tail end of a cold and my voice is struggling to return. So um, I'm going to try to make it through this without coughing too much or losing my voice, but it is a um, Tuesday, so it is free food day. My husband and I went to lunch and then we went and picked up whatever free food was available. It wasn't a lot and there really is not much food. It's mainly drink stuff and a few, um, a few like household things, but I thought I would show you anyway what we got and then after this, I will have a grocery haul for you. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of these Celsius drinks, all different flavors. There's a couple that were not in the box, but these then we've got a couple boxes over there. These are so good. We also got a bunch of these uh, poppy sodas again. There's several of those. A bunch of these V8 energy drinks. We've got this uh, laundry sanitizer jug. Some more V8 energy drinks. We've got some liquid IVs again. I actually saw these at Sam's Club, and I know someone has commented on here that they are expensive and you are right they were very expensive at sam's club i was shocked um, but we've been drinking these a lot especially since the weather is warming up and they're um, so good yeah they're really good um i also got this bag of chia seeds i like to put chia seeds in my oatmeal and my yogurt you can make chia seed pudding with those they also had some of these um pirates booty just these little packages not a ton of those another box of nut bars and two boxes of these Claritin Ready Tabs for um, allergy medicine since it is allergy season. All right, I am back this morning from Walmart and Sam's Club. So I have a grocery haul for you. I have been using down a lot of what we've got in the house, just trying to use up um, all of the food that we have gotten for free or that I've purchased. And um, I do still have some food left, but like I said, we do eat a lot of food and um, we were out of, pretty much out of fruits and vegetables. So I went ahead and put in a grocery order. I did a pickup order for uh, Sam's Club and Walmart. And um, I love grocery pickup. It is such a sweet convenience and a blessing for me during this time of being a busy mama. I don't have to go spend hours at the grocery store trying to get groceries for my family. I can stick my order in online, which isn't always super fast. Um, and then I can be to the store and back in about 30 minutes to pick up all my groceries, especially when I do it early in the morning like this. It's only just about eight o'clock. So I left this morning at about seven and I was back at about 7.30, which was really nice. So I'm gonna show you everything I got from Sam's Club first and then we will move on to Walmart. All right, I got a big thing of toilet paper. I didn't realize until after I put my order in that we were almost out of that, so thankfully I could still add that in. I also got a 60 pack of eggs from Sam's Club. I did price things out and the stuff I got at Sam's was cheaper than getting it at Walmart, so that's why I do it that way. Um, package of eggs, I got a two pack of peanut butter. I got two packages of chicken breasts. These will just last for only a couple meals because there's a lot of us and we don't eat chicken super often, but my husband and I are trying to eat a little bit better and wanted some white meat instead of just eating beef all the time. So I did grab a couple things of chicken. I also got this buffalo style chicken breast. It sounded really good and thought it would be an easy lunch for my husband and I to have just some meat and some vegetables. I got um, eight boxes of butter, We're about out of butter, <clears throat> three bunches of bananas, which are going to have to be eaten pretty quickly. They're already got brown spots on them. That's one of the drawbacks of um, grocery pickup. You don't get to choose your own produce. You just have to take what they bring you. And sometimes it's not the greatest. One time I ordered a watermelon. I think they picked out the teeny tiniest watermelon in the whole group and that's what they gave us. Um, and I vowed then I would not ever order watermelon again on grocery pickup. So I would go in and pick my own out because it wasn't even enough to feed all of us for a meal. So it was very disappointing, but bananas. I also got lots of carrots. These are one pound bag of carrots. I think there's 15 here. I'm pretty sure I ordered 15 pounds of carrots. So lots of carrots. 
the kids love carrots and um, they're good for Austin and I to be eating too. Make good side dishes. I can cook them or I can, the kids like to eat them raw. They like to just take a whole big carrot like that and wash it and eat it. So four gallons of milk and then three of these five pound bags of apples. These actually were on a really good sale. So I went ahead and picked up three bags. All of my kids love to have apples for snacks and they just fly through them. So they'll probably eat these in a week or two, maybe even uh, a week. And then they will be gone and we'll have to get some more. But that is my um, Sam's Club haul. Now I'll move to the other side of the table and show you what I got from Walmart. All right, I'm gonna start on this side now. These are cucumbers. I believe there are eight cucumbers in this bag. I also got eight green peppers. I got three bags of the um, mandarin oranges, the EP Peel oranges. These also were on good sale, so uh, the kids, those are a good snack for them. I don't mind them, don't eat them too often. They, the orange juice is too acidic for me, but the kids really like them. I also got um, these rice cakes. I like to have these with peanut butter and banana on top. I got a bag of Jolly Rancher hard candy. The kids asked me to get this because we have that um, cotton candy machine that my mother-in-law left here for us to use. And so I grabbed some of those for them so we could make some cotton candy out of it. Down here I have six loaves of bread. You guys know I like to make my own bread often, but sometimes it's just convenient to have already made sliced bread. So I went ahead and got six loaves of that. I picked up this sugar-free cheesecake jello pudding. Um, this is to make a snack for my husband and I. I also got this no sugar added ketchup. I got a container of chili powder and I picked up two containers of onion powder. I did get some canned fruit. This is also for my husband and I because the kids um, can eat the fresh fruit. We've got five cans of sliced pears and five cans of fruit cocktail. These are no sugar added. I also got this no sugar added cherry pie filling and that is to go with the cheesecake jello for the dessert I'm gonna make. A container of plain Greek yogurt and two containers of fat-free cottage cheese. This yogurt, I know I made yogurt a few weeks ago. After doing a little bit of research, I realized to get the Greek yogurt, I really need to strain it and um, also need to make, to get non-fat, I need to make it with 1% milk, which I didn't do. So the kids have been enjoying the yogurt I made, but I went ahead and got this Greek yogurt so that I had just some non-fat plain Greek yogurt to use. I got four of these bags of cherry berry blend. This is our favorite mix of frozen fruit from Walmart and we go through it so fast because the kids enjoy making smoothies out of it and I use it for smoothies and in my yogurt. So I went ahead and picked up um, four bags. It was also on sale which was really nice and uh, we'll keep in the freezer and last us a little while. I got two bags of frozen sliced carrots. I actually put these in my cart and then realized I could just buy carrots and slice them myself and I thought I had taken these out but I must have forgotten. So we got two bags of frozen carrots, one bag of peas for my husband and I. Um, I got six bags of the broccoli and cauliflower. I got the little 12 ounce bags because they were out of the bigger bag so I just had to get the little ones. Six bags of Brussels sprouts. One container of French vanilla coffee creamer, one container of zero sugar French vanilla coffee creamer, one container of hazelnut zero sugar coffee creamer. I got four boxes or four rounds of the Creamy Light Laughing Cow Cheese. I really like to have this on toast with some everything bagel seasoning. Um, or when I make bagels, like sourdough bagels, I can have this on there instead of cream cheese and it's really good. I also got two packages of regular cream cheese. Two packages of Velveeta slices. These are for my husband and I. And then one big package of the um, American cheese great value slices. That is all of my haul for you today. I have no meal plan with this. I just thought we have a lot of meat. We need fruits and veggies to go with our meat. And so that's what we got. I can always make bread or biscuits or rolls or whatever to go with our meals um, as a filler for the kids. And um, oh, thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.